How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Datu and welcome to another Wedding Walkthrough Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard? 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 What does that sound weird? I don't, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I use three different devices for um, when I do edit and it is a mouse. So it's this mouse. Ooh, come on, focus. It's the Logitech 2S or MX Master 2S. Um, I use a tr magic trackpad, the Apple one. Ooh, very nice. And as well as Logitech keys, which I do not know what these are. Uh, MX keys, yeah. So it's I use the Logitech MX keys, this one. It's very nice. It's a little dusty, but it's very nice, especially when it glistens in the in the light. Glistens, huh? Okay. <laughs> but this mouse, this mouse I really like the most just because of how it feels in the hand. And I don't know if you've ever had or messed around with the Apple Magic Mouse. That thing is the worst thing I've ever experienced because you can't charge it and use it at the same time. At least with this one, you could charge it and use it at the same time. Because I, I don't know why. I mean, I guess it looks ergon like super slick to have the port at the bottom and have it all look, I don't know, it's awful. I hate it. Well, I don't hate it, I, I strongly dislike it. And as for keys, I wanted to have like a full keyboard instead of just like the half one, because I know on the Apple one, they have it like up to this part right here. And I just like having all this extra keys and especially for numbers and stuff, because I do like my own budgeting and everything. So having like these shortcuts for the calculator or like a screenshot or whatever, it's super, super sick and I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And then as far as like the magic trackpad or whatever, I don't really use too many features. Like I, the most I use is for launch pads. So I, I do like the little, like that. And it, whoosh, the, <laughs> yeah, the sound effects and everything. Or if I wanted to spread the whole thing, I'll, yeah. I mean, that's like the most I use it for. And just horizontal scrolling and just freehand scrolling. But the coolest thing I think about the Logitech mouse or MX MX Master 2S mouse is the fact that you could program different buttons onto it. So when I log or when you do end up getting the mouse, you will have to like end up syncing it and all that or it's connected via Bluetooth. And this is all personal preference. You don't have to set up your keyboard mouse and trackpad and stuff just like me. Again, I'm just telling you what I do. If you want to use it, go ahead. If not, no hard feelings. <laughs> You'll see here on my like these little side buttons. I have it, the bottom one set for delete and then the top one set for enter. Um, I have this horizontal scroll wheel set for horizontal scroll. I have this thumb click set for left bracket. And all these will make sense when we go over it in the button layout for Final Cut Pro. And I have the scroll wheel, like the main one, when you press it down on it for delete also. And then I have the square button for command B. Cooler part about this mouse too is the fact that you could set it for other programs, not just Final Cut Pro. So if you want different settings for Lightroom, for example, if you wanna have like your rating button and then your color button, or whatever or whatever you want to use it for so it's fully customizable for all applications of all kinds you know I have one for the mail one for finder one for Final Cut one for Adobe Lightroom and I'm pretty sure they have a whole bunch of other more see they have ones for Cal you could make one for chess huh, that's pretty cool okay um besides getting distracted yeah so you could fully customize this mouse It's super sick um, again, all the products I do use will be in the descriptions down below of all these videos. So you'll go Final Cut Pro, Commands, Customize, and you'll see I already have my own. Uh, I know very original name, right? But you could create your own, like import, export, and I'll probably have my command short, key, short keys, whatever, in the, in the description as well if you want to just download that so you don't have to do all this. But the only things I do have different are and you'll see why I had like all those other buttons set for the mouse is I have my so shift delete which was the 
this bottom button right here, the bottom button of the mouse. I have shift delete for timeline history back and then shift enter, which I believe is, is a timeline forward. So I'll show you what that does right here. The way I remember it is I think of it on this plane and the top one goes right, bottom one goes left. So I want to go back to the most previous um, project or library or whatever. Shift delete and then shift enter, shift delete, shift enter, shift delete, shift enter. And then the reason why I had the thumb button set to bracket is because of this, I'll show you. So you'll go into bracket or whatever over here and then shift bracket trim N, no modifier, trim start. This is what it looks like when you are using trim start and trim end. So I'm just trimming the start of the clip. It's wherever my cursor is on my mouse. I have programmed for bracket, which is the left thumb cuts the beginning of the clip. And then if I do shift, it does the opposite or not the opposite does the end of the clip and beginning beginning. Yeah. So it helps really with doing cuts super fast. And your thumb's always gonna be in that position and it's probably one of the most used buttons I use or most used commands I use. And you could, if you end up getting this whole setup, you could definitely set it up however you want and have different buttons. But I decided to use like the most common buttons on the actual mouse itself to do the shortcuts. I have the square button. I don't even know what these buttons are called. This is, I just call it the square button on top of the mouse. So I have that set for wherever I am in, or whatever clip I'm selecting. Wherever that playhead is, it will cut it. So it's Command B. And you can do the same thing if I wanted to on my keyboard, Command B. But again, it's easier just to press one single button. All kinds of cuts, 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 cuts. And then for the scroll wheel on the top, I have that set for like just mass deleting. So, or not mass deleting, just like whatever I select, it's easy button instead of having to go here, press delete. Other than that, that's basically it for it when it comes to my keyboard shortcuts and my overall workflow. and how I cull footage very fast or how I put clips into a timeline and trim them and all that and basically like ripple edit everything. I mean, those are my settings. Um, you could also, again, have more shortcuts or whatever for your Magic Trackpad if you end up buying that. But if it were me, I would rather put the money towards like a nicer keyboard and this mouse. Like this mouse is super clutch. The trackpad, that's just like a luxury thing. If you really just want to like feel super perf like I'm getting work done, but you don't need it. I like it. It completes the look and it's space gray. That's one. That is honestly the only reason I got it. It's space gray. Hopefully you learned something and all those links and all that will be in the description down below for the trackpad, the keyboard and the mouse. And I'll try to put a download for my keyboard shortcuts for Final Cut Pro. If you want to download them yourself, let me know what you think. That's all I got for today's video. Thank you again for watching. Comment down below if you have any tips that you want to share with me or any shortcuts or just want to say what's up. Uh, like the video if you liked it, share if you're into that. Consider subscribing if you're not already and hit that bell notification to stay up to date when I post new videos. And as always, follow me on all the social medias at Aaron Datsu Films and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.